Hello and welcome to episode 30, the finale of our Update 5 hard mode playthrough with the Folktales faction here in cycle 39, day 22, about halfway through a big drought, 14 days left of that. And today's mission is to finally, finally get our average well-being up to 60 and automate all of the jobs. We currently have 111 beavers employed and we have 112 bots employed. And we've got uh, maybe a couple opportunities to reduce the uh, required number of jobs uh, but we definitely need to get some more bots working here. Uh, we have our bot production facility working at full speed. Probably could uh, stand to use a little bit of help with that. Fixing some of this uh, metal production up just a tad. And taking care of some other well-being things. And uh, continuing to build windmills because we clearly are not producing enough power. And we're definitely not having enough storage with our gravity batteries. But... Uh, Suffice to say, we have plenty to keep ourselves busy. Uh, I liked the comments in the last video about having the uh, <laughs> the carousel right above the mud bath and the contemplation spots here. Well, um, you know, you can also contemplate the wonders of centrifugal force underneath the, uh, <laughs> the carousels here. I just thought that was that was really funny. Uh, but we do need to make sure we're getting biofuel distributed across the district here. We do have it set here. This is currently set to extract since we're not doing any refining over here. Guess what? This can become biofuel and that is going to be all well and good. These pumps are not actually getting any bad water out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and say goodbye to those. Just dump them. These three as well. Uh, just collect the rest of our uh, materials from that. Maybe they can be used to make some bots. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, for the time period that we needed them, we sure were glad to have them. So that was already a worthwhile endeavor, getting that taken care of. We'll just make sure these guys can uh, harvest everything else and we'll get what we have to get done, done. So yeah, uh, almost 300 beavers. I don't think we're gonna add any more. Uh, we just, we don't need to. <laughs> we've, we've spent quite a lot of time uh, in this playthrough, probably approaching maybe 35 hours uh, messing with all of this different stuff and we've gotten a lot of good stuff done some stuff that we probably could have and should have done to a slightly greater degree but you know you live and you learn uh, figure out how different mechanics work uh, adapting to the bad tides in hard mode was certainly a challenge but uh, we can save all the reminiscing for later let's go ahead and get this triple speed activated here uh, try and uh, get a little bit more power being made so we can have more and more and more stuff happen here. So what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to blast out a little bit more space here for our uh, gravity batteries. That's going to have to go all the way down. We can put a couple more right here just fine, but we do have to blast it out. Fortunately, we do have dynamite and we do have an extract. Uh, so that is just depending on the bots who are working as builders, bringing the stuff over here so everything will be all good to go. And uh, someone also did say that we should have some catalyst in here and mine your own business for the bots working the mine. Well, we, uh, we have a tank for it. We just haven't been uh, producing a whole lot, just in general. The catalyst goes very, very quickly. Uh, we have this one making biofuel, this one making catalyst. We honestly probably should have at least two making catalyst, but our maple syrup situation isn't... It, it, you might think this is fine. We have the, the tanks about 40% full. But uh, we honestly need a whole lot more than we currently have. Uh, it was a smart idea for us to increase our uh, maple syrup production over here. But as you can see, they're pretty much all tapped out. The literal definition of tapped out. <laughs> so we'll we'll have to wait and see what happens here. I might I might have to consider uh, pausing production of the pastries for a while. Uh, but we're going to need to build another refinery, and we don't have to have these in any specific spot. This is just uh, the place that we decided to put it. So if we take a look at where our resources that go into making the catalyst are, which uh, for a refresher, if I can click on the right one, nope, not that one, extract and maple syrup. Extract is being made here-ish. Maple syrup is being stored and imported here, so this is a good place to do it. Uh, we just did not have a perfect spot to build another one of these refineries. So what I'm going to do is right here, just 
place that in like so. And we'll go ahead and we'll place one right here. And this can be another one making catalyst. Uh, it is pretty close to our uh, storage for all of those things. Now we have a big tank here for extract. We have a big tank, couple big tanks for biofuel. That's all well and good, but we are going to need to have a tank for the catalyst as well. So uh, you know the drill. Uh, but I'm not going to put in a giant tank because that takes metal. We need the metal for the bots. We want to save that as much as we can. Uh, the gears problem is unfortunately unavoidable. Both of these tanks require gears, but the medium tank only requires 20 gears, and we're currently making, we currently have on hand 14. So actually, we have the technology. <laughs> we can rebuild him. Uh, we have, we have the space to put a couple more of these things. We honestly probably probably should have uh three of these making catalysts i'm telling you the cattle they are thirsty they are thirsty for the catalyst they are absolutely unquenchable so uh, in that regard i i kind of do want to put the giant tank but I'm, I'm gonna try my best to avoid having to worry about that we can also just you know take one of these waters and uh have that converted to hold catalyst might actually be a uh, actually be a slightly better idea uh, considering we have so much water anyway yeah you know what we'll just we'll just do that we'll just do that because I I, sh I really should save all my other stuff for uh, the appropriate time but we certainly need a lot more in the way of gear production uh, these are all set for bots uh, but we we very clearly do not have enough bots. So that's one of those things we're working on. Gradually, gradually. Can they, uh, oh, they can't reach this, of course. I made a boo-boo, so that will go there. Yeah, the, the catalyst situation is just regrettable because we cannot possibly produce enough. Hence why I'm building two more refineries. Because I promise you they're going to use them. But that will end up being a-okay. Uh, other things people pointed out is that we haven't made punch cards yet. We've been busy making books for the beavers to read. And that requires paper, which, well, thankfully we do have. These guys are both making books. We can make one book every one and a half hours. Uh, they are both bot automated. So every 0.75 hours, we have a net gain of one book. And if they're working 24 hours a day, then that's um, math, 30-ish books, thereabouts per day. Uh, we have 280 beavers, so we really absolutely do need to have another one of these printing presses. Uh, in terms of our treated planks, we seem to be consuming those with incredible ferocity. Not the correct pronunciation of that. Write me in the comments if you want to uh, make fun of me for that. That's okay. We'll get it figured out here. Uh, this will be making punch cards for the bots. So that's going to be working out just fine. Um, I can, and I think I will, since this is set up this way, uh, I will go ahead and move these tanks to be over here. And that's going to allow us some room. Actually, before they build this, they haven't even started building that. Uh, we got to clean this absolute disaster zone up here. Because I need to have space to build a couple more of these things. And I can put, uh, depending on how I want to do this, if I want to have, yeah, right here, right here, that's going to work. Just get this nice and connected. Uh, this is a 4x2. This is a 4x2. I have enough space to do another 4x2 here, or I can put two 3x2s in this spot and then use another place to put some 4x2s. Uh, some so I think the way that this is set up, our paper mills would be better served over here. One, because we're making books and all that other fun stuff right there. Two, because if I get rid of these guys, then I can move this out one. And then with all of this space, I can put, you guessed it, more printing presses. Oh no, you're using all of your metal. You are correct. Imaginary commenter with maybe an unnecessarily exaggerated voice, not t intending to disparage anybody. But, um, yeah, we need these 
to improve the lives of our beavers and our bots and uh, perhaps both simultaneously. So we're going to need to uh, make sure we have some gears. The gears do seem to be the problem in terms of actually producing things. So we probably should... Uh, oh, I have to forget. I don't have to forget. I don't want to forget how to put this in here. But we will need to have some additional... Oh, you know what? That's actually going to work really great if I just put two more of those right there. It is disgustingly perfect. Super ugly, but also fine. Get that figured out here. Um, this is still waiting on extract. All right, that's fine. I'll just go ahead and blow these up. No harm, no foul. And then we'll check our depth here. Yeah, that's going to have to go at least another two times. Yep, yeah, we're just uh, keeping on keeping on here. Do as much as we can so we can send this thing out with a bang. Alright, so our average well-being keeps hovering around 57, 58. Keep in mind the beavers are still working. And uh, everything up here is, for all intents and purposes, perfectly done just fine. Uh, the social life stuff when the beavers don't have to work will also be pretty much all the way up. Uh, aesthetically speaking, we could put a bunch more lanterns in and scarecrows and that's probably going to be fine. Monuments are all perfectly fine. The fun is what takes a long time and then the books. So that's pretty much all we're waiting on. And a lot of that is just going to be kind of a, an exercise in just putting a bunch of decorations in places we don't necessarily need or want them, but could definitely use them. So, uh, oh, I, is there's no way. Is this going to actually work to put this on top of the ladder? Is that not going to block anything? Is that cheaty? The game lets me do it, so probably not, but <laughs> I just think that is a... Uh, just a touch on the ridiculous side. Uh, but we've got opportunities here to put other things. Uh, beaver statues. We have already a couple here. Our bulletin poles. We... Wait. Did our, okay, it was lagging. That's why they didn't show up. Shrubs. We have a couple. But I'll put one there. Then we have all this space in front of the uh, the beaver housing. I think if I put one here, that can do one shrub there, one shrub there, one shrub there, one shrub there, and then uh, maybe we'll put a couple of uh, these guys here. I just want to make sure we're having adequate uh, coverage at all times. That's going to work there. In fact, I will remove these two and replace them with some other stuff. Uh, the single shrub here will get both of those. I want to call them barracks. No, this is not This is not the Iron Teeth. Wow, that was absolutely not where that was supposed to go. That was supposed to be here. Well, I guess we can just make this whole thing a covered mess of all sorts of stuff. Uh, scare, scarecrow statue, anyone? Just, just on top of this for no reason? <laughs> Why not? Uh, wind gauges, those don't have any sort of value for the aesthetic purposes. Uh, but the lanterns, the lanterns do. Maybe we'll want some uh, some nice poolside lanterns here. Grasping at straws, aren't I? <laughs> Just to get this, uh, get this whole thing figured out. That's going to go there. And then um, shrubberies right there. And then we have our uh, beaver statues. Pop those right there. It's not going to hit every single, uh, every single thing, but uh, we we got a kind of a ridiculous row of stuff here to try to bump up our uh, bump up our numbers. They're rookie numbers. Got to get them up. Great movie. Uh, more triples here, and that should be. Actually, that only needs to be a double. So let's save ourselves. Like we really need to worry about saving extract. We got eleven hundred of it, but we can just put that in there. That'll be fine. Uh, this is looking good as well. Oh, these need to be uh, automated again. My mistake. Get that taken care of. And now we should be able to start making some more gears if we have two more of these guys. And then all of our, uh, our paper stuff. We are making books. And those are being stored somewhere. Oh, I did not have this set correctly. This is going to be for biofuel. And since this is no longer going to be a beaver area... Uh, we can make this for Catalyst. We'll set this to uh, Obtain. 
This needs to be set to make... Um, is this both the same recipe for... Oh, no. The punch cards need a plank. Okay. Well... I guess we'll... Uh, We'll make start making punch cards for the bots. That should be that should be all right. But we want to make sure we have biofuel at the very least. Have biofuel available in convenient locations around the map, and we have some catalyst coming in here. Uh, we don't have a ton, but now that we do have three of these, I pointed at the pump and not the uh, the refinery. We do have three of these. That's actually working out well. This is currently set to supply. These three. We're already here, these tiny little ones. That doesn't necessarily need to be that way, but uh, it is just the way it is. All right, so what is our hang-up here? We are lacking in limbs. The, uh, the crowd that evangelizes so loudly for extreme numbers of limb factories is absolutely chomping at the bit to tell me to build more limb factories, but it's fine. They're lagging because of the materials that are being used, not because there are not enough factories. As we have discussed many, many times. If I can click on this. Yeah, they need the gears, and they're not getting the gears. That's literally the only reason why. So our supply of planks isn't exactly robust either. We kind of outgrew ourselves just a touch. But part of the problem is we don't have the uh, we don't have the power to. Uh, really take care of anything during a drought, which is certainly not helping us. But now we have the ability to build a couple more of these guys and get that taken care of. Now, granted, uh, we do need the gears to do that, but I will make these high priority and then that should be okay. If we can get the wind to consistently blow, we'd be fine. We're making tons of power, more than enough to take care of all of our needs. But uh, you know how this works. If you don't have power, you don't have anything. That's just the way it goes. But we actually now do have a 60 average well-being, which uh, leads me to believe that the maximum is not 60. Because uh, we clearly are not there yet. So I actually don't know. I always thought the theoretical maximum in vanilla, I know we have a couple mods in here, but I always thought the theoretical maximum was 60. Maybe it's actually higher. Maybe it's 61. Maybe it's 62. Uh, judging by the fact of how low these are, I think it could be, could even be 63 or 64. Well, we'll get it figured out. We have plenty of stuff to get done and ways to get there. So uh, where we're at right now is, oh, okay, I need to set this to make, um, um, might as well just make punch cards. Just double whammy, double up on those. So what I'm going to do, in the interest of actually, you know, finishing this series today, and since there's not really that much else we desperately need to do, short of just wait to get more bots built, I'm going to time lapse through the rest of this uh, drought here, and we will take a look and see at the end of the drought where we stand. We should have a few more bots, and we should have our production on uh, stuff like gears and uh, all that gradually catch up, assuming we can generate and have enough power. I will continue playing during the time, but I'm not going to make you sit here for another 30 minutes while we get through the rest of this drought with almost nothing happening. So that being said, I will talk to you again on the other side of the time lapse that you are already currently watching, and uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. All right, friends, the drought is over. We're in cycle 40, and I'm in the middle of putting in this, uh, finally putting in a way to cross over this uh, power shaft here just so we can get up here. Uh, so I can have another outlet for the water to come out this way after it's gone through all of the uh, wheels. And I've gone ahead and I've added four of these uh, lumber mills in addition to all the other stuff that we've taken care of here. Our well-being is up to 62. Uh, well, it went up to 62 now it's not quite that high but um we have some nice fresh clean water coming in here and if we take a look at how this is basically all the way down uh let's utilize our good water bypass once again 
glad we ended up doing this. Should have done it a whole lot sooner, but uh, ended up not being what we went with. But we'll go ahead and replenish part of that over here and let this refill. Uh, this biofuel tank does not need to be here. There is nothing over here, so we will set this to empty. Uh, not that there's that much space. Oh, no, there's... Wow, there's 1,200. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but we'll, we'll let these guys empty this out, and then we'll, uh, we'll delete it. And then uh, go ahead and take care of everything else. We could, if we really felt like it, and we were going to play this for a couple more episodes, uh, we could come over here and get more metal. But honestly, we have enough scrap right now. I'm not worried about it. It should be A-OK. -okay. Is this empty yet? It looks like it is. Yeah, they didn't harvest all those materials. That'll be just fine. Uh, good water bypass will bypass the good water into there. But we need to generate power as well. I just wanted to get that off to a nice start. Also, because we spent all that time making it, we might as well use it. So I will now let uh, the rest of this out here. Make sure this is set to 2.5. It is. That's set to 2.5. All right, so here comes a whole bunch of water. It hopefully will not flood because we have a part of it coming off this way. But that's going to turn our wheels here. Might bunch up a tiny bit. But I did open this up in the corner here, make that possible to be used. So now that's going to be looking pretty nice. Uh, our catalyst actually has, okay, moved down so I couldn't see it anymore, but uh, it's it's actually going pretty well. We have a nice amount over here. Uh, our second district, mine your own business, I guess I should use the name, <laughs> is uh, actually stocked nicely with it. And we are getting our scrap metal just fine. Uh, refining the metal is still kind of a slow process, but uh, we're not out of it. We're looking good. Uh, I am going to prioritize these bot assemblers and factories by haulers. And you know what? I should have just uh, clicked on this. I always forget this is a thing. I always forget this is a thing. So why? Oh, that's actually in the main district. Never mind. <laughs> I always, always forget. We'll prioritize that. So hopefully it... Uh, Goes a little, a little bit faster. Hey, look, it's flooding, but it's not poison water, so it's fine. Um, let's see. Not really any way to uh, get around this, as there just kind of has to go through it. And we have this, of course, shut because we don't want to waste any of the good water. Reservoirs are beginning to refill slowly. I wish I would have had time to come back here and do this, but uh, you know how it goes. So, overall. Uh, things are looking pretty good. Our punch cards still are not quite uh, able to keep up. I think we're going to have to just keep making a whole bunch of these things. And we'll have to see exactly what we're going to get ourselves into. Uh, Dirt-wise, I don't foresee a scenario in which we will ever have to do anything else with dirt. So I'm kind of tempted to maybe not get rid of these right now because they are they are doing power transmission but i think i might want to get rid of this so i can build a bunch more stuff up here because if i did that then i would have five wide space here so i could do uh, a couple things like this and then another thing or i can just do a bunch of four deeps which i guess i wouldn't have to move anything for but i do need to get the power attached to them we got some options uh but like I said, not the end of the world. Stuff is still looking pretty good. The bots are just not quite getting made as fast as I would like, and they aren't necessarily uh, lasting as long as we want either. So we definitely want to make sure that we are doing the best we can. The observatory is in power saving mode because no one's there. But now, now we're looking good. They're observing. That is not a job that a bot can perform. Uh, so we'll let those guys keep doing what they love to do. Uh, meanwhile, over here in the world's ugliest uh, HOA lawsuit magnet decorations, <laughs> we've got we've got a whole bunch of garbage there that seems to work pretty well, so that's fine. Uh, the carousel slash mud bath slash contemplation spot extravaganza over here is performing as advertised. Um, I don't know if there's really that much else we can uh, reasonably place over here. I guess I could have put another beaver statue just to keep them... Uh, constantly on watch here we have our uh we have our things right here that are already pretty much covering everything uh shrub wise this intersection could use a shrub but how are, we, how are we looking on everything else yeah the books the books is the problem though we cannot make them fast enough and i think that is a function of us not having enough paper 
Uh, so we, we just, there's so many, so many needs we just cannot possibly accommodate. Oh, hey, look, this is, uh, the wheels aren't turning again. Yeah. A couple people kind of got on my case for not watching the wheels, but in fairness, it's, um, this is a bad design and we built it at a point, we rebuilt it rather at a point in the playthrough where it just would not make sense to completely re-engineer it because people aren't going to care to watch 50 episodes of this. I think 30 is pretty much about as long as we can reasonably expect people to want to pay attention for before they start uh, wanting to see some new stuff. Unless it's some crazy thing that we're doing a bunch of cool stuff with. And uh, I don't know, you guys had fun in episode 26 when all the disaster nonsense occurred. But uh, I, th I think it's time to put this one to bed. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what the next one ends up being. Uh, but for right now, we are going to try and do our best to give the... Uh, series of send off that it deserves. Now we are actually starting to tick up in terms of production on the bots. Uh, we had that bottleneck with the planks in the gears that is not really resolved resolved. Oh, here we go. Bad tide approaching. That's going to be a, uh, that's going to be a fun thing for us to mess with here. Cause we don't know how long it's going to be. It could actually be the entirety of the, uh, the remainder of this playthrough is in a bad tide. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll have to see what happens here. So I'm going to shut off the bypass and I'm going to raise this to 2.0. Try and get as much stored up here as we can because we can let water out of the good water bypass during a bad tide. We specifically engineered it that way. Engineered is a strong term. I'm not a, I'm not a university educated math nerd with apologies to those of you who are, I have immense respect for your abilities and talents, but I am not one of you. I do not understand the, the math and the, uh, crazy stuff you guys have to figure out. I just uh, poke around in this game until it works, and if it works, great. If it doesn't work, well, then do something else. Which I don't know, may, may or may not be that far removed from how actual engineering works when you factor in the uh, whole trial and error, guessing at math and then implementing solutions thing. But I digress. Uh, this, ugly as it is, is technically functioning. We just need it to have a whole lot more production of gears and planks. And the good news is that during a bad tide, we're not going to lose the power. We're still, well, unless these things aren't turning, which of course they're not because I've been trying to build up as much water up here as I possibly can. So we'll just have to, uh, just have to live with that. If we check our power production, yeah, it's about half of what it's supposed to be. And the gravity batteries are all depleted, but, um, that's, uh, it's the way she goes. I probably at this point need to focus on just uh, filling up the reservoir. So I'll have this go all the way down. Uh, some of you may flood buildings. That is a sacrifice I am willing to make. How did they get away with so much stuff in the Shrek movie? It is astounding to me how <laughs> how some of that stuff, you look into it enough, uh, you're, you're going to catch a bunch of innuendos and, uh, and things that... Maybe, maybe not something you want to see in a, a movie that is marketed toward eight-year-olds. I don't know. I thought they were funny, personally, but uh, take take a look at the guy's name and uh, pronounce it a couple different ways, and you, I think you're gonna you're gonna have an idea what I'm talking about. But still, fantastic movie. I can't believe it. It's twenty what twenty three years ago that came out. And people are still talking about it like it has huge cultural relevancy. Wild, absolutely wild. All right, so this is actually flooding now. Uh, let's. Uh, Open this back up. Let it uh, relieve a little bit of pressure. Okay, good. That's not gonna not gonna flood. When, now, when this is bad tide stuff, that's gonna be bad news. But uh, right now, it's not, and we just want our uh, we want our reservoir to fill up. Not that we need to have the extra water in place, but uh, it's always a good idea to be prepared. So be prepared. We shall. Uh, I could, I guess, uh, set this to open. Wait, is this not automated? I thought I already automated. Okay, good. Okay. All right. All right. We're, we're okay. We're okay. We're just, uh, we're just trying to get as much water in here as we can. We have a, we have a much, much larger volume. So that's, that's why this is the way it is. But yeah, we're going to be in, uh, we're going to be in some stuff if we don't, uh, we don't have water that we can we can push back out. So I believe 
Yeah, this is still a full block and a half down over here. I know uh, it's it's going to take its time to uh, even out a little bit because of the path it has to take. But I believe, I believe, while we have the chance now, I will uh, I will try to get this stuff filled up. Uh, we can fill this one up too. That's fine. Because uh, this is always going to be able to hold some uh, some extra water here. All in the name of getting stuff released in time. We'll get it figured out. Won't be bad. Yeah, this should also fill up pretty fast uh, to the level that we can actually afford to let it uh, let it fill up to. So we'll just leave these open, let them, let them equalize a little bit, and then you better believe as soon as that starts, these are getting slammed shut as hard as possible. Now that can go up. 3.0. There's not really that much in there, but there is, there is a decent bit. We won't be able to release it except to flush bad water out. Uh, but for right now, yeah, actually, that's what we can do. So I'll just let all this out while we're filling that up top, because you know it's not going to be useful during a bad tide. That's going to be a okay. This is shut, right? Okay, good. Yeah, because we we want to have a little bit more power generated. We want to have a little bit more stored through here. I know it's gonna flood it. I know it's gonna flood it. We'll get it. We'll get it shut down here. Put that up to 1.5. Is that gonna stop any more from coming out? I think it probably will. Don't worry, the flooding will go away, and it's not bad water, so we're in good shape. That uh, I think now. Actually, I could just set that at 2.5 if it doesn't have anything behind it, because then we don't have to think about it. Why is this? There we go. That should be fine. Yeah, now we got a little bit more water in here. I mean, let's be honest. We're never going to use all this water. Never. Not with not with 276 beavers. That for sure is not going to be a thing. And I see we have the nine bots that aren't employed. We will get that taken care of. I just really want to make sure that we have as much water stored up here as we possibly can. So I'm going to shut this. And then we'll shut this at the last possible moment as soon as this starts turning red. And then, friendos, we will have... Plenty of water left over to refill our reservoirs, and that'll be probably all she wrote. Or at least until I time lapse and have all the beavers not working, because that that is what I, <laughs> that is what I said we would be doing here. All right, point two. Yeah, see, look how nice and tall this is. Plenty of water, about a block and a half ish, as of now. All right, so I see that point one. Uh, as soon as that sound goes off, we're gonna pause and we're gonna flop these uh, flop these gates open here. Well, these gates open, not these gates, not these gates, these gates. All right, hit pause on that bad boy. Put that all the way up, and then all the way down. This will rock it open uh, when that becomes a thing, and. Uh, those other gates will slam shut. Hopefully the uh, detection works correctly. As it usually, not always, but usually does. I think we're going to be fine. This will just have to end up being uh, open. I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to override and open this immediately. I know I did not do this... Uh, I did not do this necessarily the correct way, but I did do it in a way that was going to uh, not completely, not completely eviscerate everything we've worked for here. So this is synchronized with an adjacent floodgate. It's set to 1.5. Now it's set to zero. And this one, <laughs> this one, this one is going to be set to zero. All the way open. Uh, no more flooding over here, but uh, this... It's still set to 1.0. Until we get flow equalized, I am going to lower this down to zero. Yes, I know that's going to stop the, the water wheels, but um, I cannot afford to have infected beavers. Nobody wants that. So that is looking... Actually, it's still uh, still powering some stuff. So that works. I suppose that is uh, about as good as we can get. And, and it's only a 15-day bad tide, so you know we might actually see the other side of this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, incrementally close this. Let's see, synchronize, synchronize. 
synchronize, turn that back on. All right, um, set this up to one and then uh, see if we can get our wheels spinning again. Yeah, got to be really careful with the bad tide because that the strength theoretically is the same, but uh, it's all going through one spot instead of up here. And look how look how nasty red that is. Mm. That is not that is not the good stuff. All right, uh, where is the? I always misclick this. There we go. That's set to point five, so we should see, assuming we can keep more of this uh, flowing out here. We should see those start to rotate again momentarily as this continues to swell. Yep, just got to keep our eye on the height here, which we can do by just removing all the buildings. Yeah, and I think uh, I think we're going to be in okay shape as long as we... Uh... Oh, that was never filled in, huh? All right, well, that's a mistake. I will have to... Uh just live with for the rest of my life because this is a uh, this is set the way it is yeah see now this is not uh not pushing anything up so i guess we're gonna have to go up here to the 1.0 check again our levels i think i think it's probably fine yeah that should should come back right like so and I believe, yeah, I can see I, the shadows. I can see the shadows rotating, but the actual building itself is hidden. That seems to be working. And it is. And I believe we are good to go, friends. That is going to somehow still not be enough. Okay, there it goes. I get this whole thing going. What's our, what's our power differential? Okay, we're making almost 11 and we're drawing 7,600. All right, we can work with that. Now, now I can finally take the time and start... Uh, start taking care of all of these jobs. Now, um, beaver jobs no longer need to exist, so uh, no more inventing. You can go do literally anything else. That's gone. So that takes away, not that we really needed to worry about that that much. Uh, but we have all these uh, builder huts we probably don't need to keep. They are all automated for bots, but uh, we're probably not going to need to have a billion of these things. If anything, we're going to need hauling posts, but uh, let's just see. Uh, these these up here are paused, so that doesn't matter. Uh, this is paused. All of these farming jobs probably could be automated, should be automated. But I think they have a slightly better, uh, slightly better efficiency if we put them in, at least early on, in our automation quest. Make sure both of these are set. Actually, we can just go to our uh, just go to our thing here and look at that. That's probably easier. All right, bakeries are now all automated. Bot assemblers have been automated. Bot part factories are automated. Builder sets are already automated. Centrifuges, dirt excavators, which are paused. District center, district crossing. The Dutch windmills. Uh, I'm not going to do those ones first. Farmhouses, three jobs apiece. Uh, we probably don't need each of them to be at three jobs a piece, especially if they're automated. So uh, we have we have so much food right now, we don't really need to worry about it. I'm going to take all these down to two. Uh, just try and get as few beavers working as possible. Explosives factories are already automated. The fluid dumps, that's going to be the big one. <laughs> that's one of those things that you, uh, you kind of can't not have somebody working there. And we did in the beginning of this series have this set up in a way where they would just kind of rotate between them, but we have we have 15 of these. I can't do that again. Just making sure this hasn't flooded. Don't worry. We're, 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 in, we're in good shape. We're in, well, we're in okay shape. Foresters, that's another thing that could easily be automated, but I think would be better served to do others first. Uh, gear workshops, why are these not all automated? Or prioritized, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll get those done. Uh, grills, again, another thing grist mills, not worried about hauling posts. That's the big one to have the uh, the hauling posts all automated. So that's good. Herbalist uh, can actually be automated, but that's only really relevant if you have infected beavers, which we don't. Water pumps, uh, a great automation candidate. But again, right now, probably not important. We just need to make sure all of our production is automated. Lumberjack flags observatory cannot be automated. Paper mills already done. Uh, printing presses already done. These could be 
prioritized by haulers now that we have 40 bots as haulers. Refineries, absolutely those need to be bots. Smelters already automated. Tapper shack, now all three of those are. And then uh, the one water pump that is paused, so that's not relevant. Okay, so um, good. That more or less equalized our vacancies versus unemployed. Uh, tilting toward the vacancies. But we're looking uh, quite good, I would say, with all of this. We now only have 83 beavers working, and a lot of those working are working jobs that probably don't need to exist. Although you will note that we have substantially fewer logs now because we are actually, uh, actually making good use of all of our wood. So it could actually be that the next things that make sense to automate are in fact the lumberjack flags. So let's make sure this area has a good access to biofuel. Um, actually, do I have enough space? I know not really. I was going to say we'd just turn this into biofuel, but I might as well go ahead and just put in a couple more tanks here. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. We'll do biofuel, and then, of course, we'll do catalyst. Can never hurt to have a lot of catalyst. We have we have a 1,000. Nice. Well, 900 in this district-ish. That's going to be good to get that done. And then just slowly keep transitioning the stuff over, and everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. See, look at, look at all this purple. Look at all that. that tells you how many times I have actually used Catalyst because I don't remember it being purple. Maybe it changed in this update. I don't know. But the only other time I've really done that much with the bots and the folktales was the uh, the Thousand Islands playthrough that we had. Uh, I think was that uh, was that number thirteen or is that number eleven? I don't I don't quite remember. But we'll uh, we'll see. I guess. Someone, I think, will uh, remind us in the comments what that was. You guys are very diligent about doing that. All right, so here's where we stand. Uh, we, we can gradually add more and more bots, which I think I will uh, do while we're talking here. But for all intents and purposes, we've pretty pretty much solved this playthrough. We're pretty much pretty much done. So I would like... For you to tell me in the comments what was your favorite part about this playthrough uh, what did you like what did you dislike what would you like to see done differently uh, the next time we do a hard mode or a folktales or a whatever insert qualifier here playthrough because uh, i think a lot of this was pretty good a lot of it was definitely not <laughs> suboptimal uh bad decision making etc so we can definitely take our uh, take our chance here to learn uh, collect ideas, bounce stuff off of each other, and uh, figure out whatever the next one is, how to make that even better. So I'm not going to end the video right now because we haven't uh, we haven't unemployed all the beavers, but I do think while we're sitting here having our chat, we are going to time lapse and uh, let the bots take over more and more of the jobs. And I'll, I'll reset the camera a couple times during this to uh, give some different views around the town. I know you guys had mentioned sometimes in the comments that you want to see a little bit more close-up stuff. But uh, we'll get that done. And then by the time we're finished here with this little chat, it'll be time to say goodbye with the little final farewell tour of everything we've got going on here. So again, any, uh, any opinions, thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, always welcome in any of my videos. But especially now, I, I would like your feedback on specifically this series and uh, things that you would like to see uh, kept the same, improved, changed, uh, never done again or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what everybody's thoughts are on that. I don't know when the next Timberborn series is going to start, uh, in quote unquote vanilla. I know we had some mods here, but, uh, I think based on the release schedule for the previous two or three updates, uh, we're almost due for another one. Remember update five entered experimental in late September of 2023, it is currently, as I'm recording this, uh, March 3rd. I'm trying to get a couple of a uh, couple of days early on some stuff this week, but uh, within within the next couple of weeks, it's going to be six months since uh, update five was released, and I'm pretty sure update four was released sometime in early 2023, maybe maybe early spring. Could have been could have been March. Could have been April, but um. 
I would not be surprised if we got a surprise update sometime in the next five to six weeks. I have absolutely no idea. I don't I don't know anybody working at Mechanistry. I, I barely even go in the Timberborn Discord, so I, I, don't, I don't hear rumors or anything like that. But uh, based on the timeline, I would very much be not surprised if we saw something soon. So I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to start a new uh, vanilla or uh, modded whatever Folktales Iron Teeth playthrough in update five because I don't want to quit something when it's not finished. So maybe, maybe the next series will be Water Beavers update five. That could be a huge mess, but in a fun way. So uh, if you have any opinions on that, I would also love to hear that. Uh, I think that mod is in a good place right now in terms of having most of the original functionality back uh, with the, uh, the irrigation towers and well, maybe not specifically those, but a bunch of other things that had been kind of up in the air with the bad water changes. And I know for a fact there's a lot of new stuff, a lot of craziness to deal with in processing the bad water. So we'll see. It could be, could be a fun, uh, fun new series to tide us over until the next major update. But then if it, if it goes on too much longer without having any news of anything, then, you know, maybe we'll start another playthrough. Maybe I'll do a live one in live streams. I know the Timberborn live streams have always been extremely good. Uh, you guys have really liked those. So, again, if you have any ideas for that, I am all ears on that. I know the Drowned playthrough was a whole lot of fun. We had some uh, some fun shenanigans with that one. So maybe maybe it's some sort of like a challenge playthrough that I could live stream. And uh, we can all hang out and have a fun time doing that. Might be a, uh, a fun option for us so we don't have to commit to a series that's going to last three months to do all these episodes. But yeah, uh, all that being said. Just communication's good, and if you guys are always letting me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, then we're all going to be on the same page, and we're all going to have a good time, and that's what it's all about. So, anyway, uh, that being said, it's time to wrap this time lapse up and rejoin you back in, well, I guess, live play, I guess we can call it. All right, and we're back. Cycle 41, day one. We have managed, believe it or not, to almost completely eliminate beaver jobs. Don't let that 45 fool you. Uh, a lot of those jobs, ignore also that dead uh, dead bot disappeared, but uh, a lot of those jobs are things that we were never going to eliminate, like the uh, wing observatory. We've got uh, some of the other... Actually, we can just take a look and I'll tell you what it is. But right now, it looks like it's mostly fluid dumps, from what I remember. Uh, yeah, 15 fluid dump jobs. Uh, three in the Forester, two in the Gatherer Flags. Everything else? Herbalist, uh, water pumps. That's that's the big one, is the water pumps. But uh, suffice to say, it's looking pretty good, pretty good. Most are automated. Uh, and I think to close the gap, since we're not going to be building anything else, I will go ahead and... Let's see, where are all my builder's huts? I probably should not uh, get rid of them, but I will pause those. So we got those two there. I've got one here. And then I guess that's probably it, but we'll, we'll double check our uh, situation here. Yep, those are all paused. And so now I've got one extra. I've got one extra bot. And uh, I think what we're going to end up doing is finally... Uh, put one of these with bots and then uh, we'll just go from there. Uh, I don't know that there's much merit to continuing this any any longer past this point. Uh, we've more or less done what we need to do to uh, get things accomplished. So now if we take a look at our uh, resource situation, uh, we haven't filled all of our storage for everything, but production is going pretty well. Uh, they're chewing through the books and the punch cards like candy. I don't really, uh, don't really fully understand what's going on there, but we can go ahead and we can lower our refineries down. Just trim a couple of jobs off. Uh, I can pause the explosives factories, and I can take the centrifuges down just a touch. But yeah, since these are automated, they don't absolutely have to be running a full speed all the time. Uh, this bad water rig, I'm just going to take down to one. We didn't even turn, we didn't even unpause the other one hardly ever. Um, the district center is builders, so let's let's just take that down to one. We could pause it, but yeah, I don't want to mess with that. It gives us 13 more, and for us to 
correctly do this, we probably probably want to have another 10 or 12 uh, bots, but we don't. So what we'll do uh, to kind of compensate for that is I will go ahead and I, I'm not going to mess with the actual production, but I'm going to go over here to the mine since we have so much, we have so many of these things. I'm going to take this down to five just to be done with that. And then uh, this is already down to one. So now we have five extra bots here. Uh, we'll lower this minimum down to 11 and we'll send those five over there. Um, don't need four here. I'll take two here. That should give me another two, nine. There we go. That balances that out. So now I got 19 to play with. What it's going to let me do, uh, I'm not going to do all these pumps, but I will do, I will do this one here and then we'll come over to our, uh, fluid dumps and I know I can do those. That's not going to be a problem. It's just unfortunate that I've got 15 of them because that's going to take up a whole lot, whole lot of stuff here. But the good news with that is that we only have 25 beavers that are not, uh, unworking and now that the working hours are zero it doesn't matter none of the beavers are going to be working we do have them still pumping out here and that is fine look at how few logs we have folks we have chewed through our uh, our log supply uh so probably probably can also get away with pausing a number of these things i'll do four of those and then i think the gear wise probably can get away with pausing two of those Gives us eight extra bots. Even with all of the uh, the stuff that's still marked as a regular uh, beaver job. The bad water rig. That's that's probably what that was. Okay. That should be a big chunk of those. Because as far as I can tell, we've pretty much taken care of all of this. We'll just take a quick look-see here. Yep, those are all marked. Ah, the forester. That's got to be a big one. Gather a flag. Rest of these are looking good. The herbalist, okay, we'll make that a bot. That's fine. Um, these water pumps that are paused will need to be uh, changed over. And I will pause. Uh, wait, these are not all built the same uh, same area, are they? Okay, that should be done. That should be done. Observatory, I guess those four guys just uh, have to be there. That's fine. I could just, you know, pause the building. But I believe, I believe those are the only four beaver jobs, and they're not going to it because it's a zero-hour workday. So let's see, uh, let's see if we can get our numbers up here. The, the maximum well-being we got up to was 62 at some point during one of the previous time lapses. So now, oh, we have a mud bath problem because there's no dirt left. All right, all right, fine. I'll send the bots over here to the dirt excavator so we can have stuff for the mud bath. Look at the, it's empty. Look how. Uh, empty it is well anyway uh, this is humming along nicely this is also uh, just just for the uh, the fun of having this fill up a little bit nicer here I'm going to put this up to 2.0 let this back up and then that will come out to uh, take care of all of this stuff just fill this up a little bit make it look a little bit nicer and then that, I believe, is going to be all she wrote, folks. Uh, we've got our dirt coming in, so they should be going into the... I guess we could just take a look. As soon as this gets supplied, looks like that one's got some mud in it, and so does this one. Yeah, it's, it's just this mud bath. Pretty much, uh, barring these tiny little gaps here, uh, it's pretty much just the mud bath and the books. We've, we never, never were able to make enough books. Probably, probably because we're making so many stinking punch cards for the bots. Uh, but we also don't have a we don't have a lot of paper even. The paper seems to be a big uh, a big issue. These were already uh, well. We also don't have any. <laughs> we didn't have enough logs to be making all this paper anyway. So I'll tell you what. We'll pause those because I know that was using planks, which we uh, had a at one point had a surplus of. But uh, suffice to say, not a perfect playthrough. Many 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 mistakes were made, but. Uh, we can, I believe, at this point, consider this to be complete uh, with whatever qualification you want to give it for being complete with, oh, we had to pause some buildings, but we did it. We survived Helix Mountain on hard mode with almost 300 beavers 
And with 176 bots, that is pretty good. Or is it 178? Yeah. Um, I think that's how that works. Oh, the number is literally right here. But yeah, um, we did it, folks. 30 episodes. Taming Helix Mountain, the redesigned version on hard mode. Uh, we made some mistakes. We had some fun. We laughed. We cried. Well, I cried. You guys laughed at me crying about the uh, <laughs> that stuff, but it's fine. Uh, all sorts of good fun. I, I don't need to repeat anything that I said in the uh, the time lapse uh, voiceover. But uh, suffice to say, I do always, always appreciate your comments. Even if it seems like I'm being sarcastic about the uh, stuff that you guys have said about, oh, I automate the floodgates, this, that, the other. No, I, I really do enjoy getting those. And even though I can't always implement what you guys want me to do in the, in the comments, I do always appreciate it. I always read them, always take uh, note of what you guys want to see and all that stuff. So please do keep those coming. And uh, we'll have to see what the future holds for Timberborn. we got plenty more stuff to get to. We just have to decide what we want to do first. So uh, again, just uh, please do not be shy letting me know what you want to see. I'll do my best to make sure we can do at least some of it. And uh, that will be that. But yep, thanks for being here. Beard Boosters, as always, as well. Uh, all of your contributions make it possible for me to keep doing this. Basically, a professional Timberborn player at this point. I don't know if I'm as good as the rest of the uh, people that are putting up videos in this game, but it sure is a fun time, and it's very, very enjoyable getting to share it with all of you. So that being said, that's where we're going to leave this one, and I hope we can see you again soon in the next adventure. Don't forget, tomorrow we've got Prison Architect, and Thursday we have the Iron Teeth playthrough with a little bit of a... Uh, a fun surprise on that one. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And then Friday, a new game should be a whole lot of fun. Saturday, Transport Fever 2, etc. So on and so forth. We have plenty more coming your way. And I can't wait to see you there. So whatever it is you're doing, stay safe, have fun. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.